welcome to another fly tying tutorial with videos on fly fishing. Today I'm gonna tie this fly. This is a squirrel tail caddis. I'm gonna show you how and what materials to use. First of all, the hook is this kind of hook, Osprey dry fly hook. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, it's size 10. And the wing and tail is a Norwegian squirrel tail. And the dubbing is some brownish, uh, old brown olive dubbing of your choice. And the hackle is a saddle feather for winners, browns. And the tread is Semperfly brown, 80 dark brown, wax tread. Okay, take out this uh, fly and put in some new hook. First, I'm gonna tie on the wing and how try to measure out how long it's gonna be. Pull it out from the stem. Snip off a healthy bunch, not too much. Try to loosen up all this short fibers. And if you want, you can take your stacker. This is stoneful type. And stack this. If you want all the tips to go be aligned in the same length. You see, this should be about this size length. So I want to try to measure out that it's going to be fairly long. And also will be a bump here, so we have to take that in mind as well. Take some wrappings to make it stay on top. Like that. Use some force. And snip out in an angle. Like that. Use your fingers manipulate it to stay there measure out you see it's gonna be there that's okay now you're gonna use the tread way back sorry <laughs> almost break it attach the hackle take out the outer fibers like this that le leaves a bare stem attach it to the hook like that and take some dubbing dub the tread Make the dubbing a little thinner to try to even up the bump. That's the foundation of the making of the wing. Have, have make have made <laughs> like that. Try to not go too close to the eye. And take your hackle plier, or if you use your hands, that's of your choice. And hackle up in Palmer style. Up the body. Not be afraid to use some hackle on this. 
because this is go what this is going to make this fly float. You want a high floater here. Like that. Use your point or your scissor to snip off the hackle. There. Okay. And wind back through the hackle like this. And now you take your if you have a dubbing brush like this, this is done for patine comb, use it to comb, try to manipulate the fibers go out to the side that uh, leaves the space for the, for the wing, so we don't have to cut the hackle. You want all this hackle you can get on this fly. Now there is a tricky part, you take this Try to get all the fibers you can and pull back like that. Wind this between the hackle. You see when you get a nice nice wing there. Use your finger on the nail on your uh, thumb to push down. And now it's time to make the whip finish. Wind it through the hackle so we don't trap too many fibers. There. And use your tip of your scissor to just push the thread off like that. Okay. Now you see you have some fiber shears that are, that are trapped a little bit. Just try not to see also there is some hair sticking out. I don't know what this is. I think this is the hackle fibers. So what I'm going to do now is this is the most vulnerable part of the fly. You have to take some lacquer on the top. I like that to prepare this, make it go a bit stronger. I uh, use this kind of lac lacquer, loon, hardhead. You can use whatever you want, but I'm allergic to the most of the <laughs> chemicals that are out there so I use the water-based one you can also use fly tight I push it onto the head like that to make it be stronger In to the point where I place my wood finish like that that's all folks this is the squirrel tail caddis so you can fish it twist it fish it in the stream on still waters very nice fly to have in your box easy fly to tie uh, easy fly to tie if you know the hang of it, you see there is a <laughs> there is a little strangler here. I cannot, well, there is, I cannot see it, but I fix it later. This is the fly. Try to tie it. You won't be disappointed. It's a very nice fly. It fishes very good. It's made of all natur natural natural materials. So. Uh, Happy time and uh, thank you all for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. You always get the latest videos from me. So bye bye and tight lights.